What's up guys? Happy New Year! Welcome back to my channel and another video. I told you, I promise you guys a video a week and I am sticking to it. I'm excited for this year. Hopefully you guys are planning out the year just like I am, making your vision boards, kind of gathering all the things that you guys want to accomplish within the new year. You know, hopefully that doesn't sound cheesy. I just think that it's such an amazing thing to do for yourself to just aspire to achieve new things, new, you know, new goals and new aspirations for the new year. Besides the point, this is not what the topic of the video is about. The video today is about my Balenciaga bag. If you watched my last video, and thank you for all the people that have watched my last video. You guys are so awesome. I appreciate all the people that viewed my videos, watch, um, comment, and, and go on my Instagram. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. So this video is going to be about this bag. An updated, um, just review on this bag. Basically, I dyed this bag myself with a dye kit it used to be white i'll try to insert a clip of it being white or off-white i bought it used from poshmark or pre-loved and i realized that i just got i didn't really get the best use out of it being that color so i wanted to you know i felt like dyeing the bag would i would get the best use or more use out of the bag for you know i guess what i paid for i paid me 300 dollars, so i felt like i took a risk and i thought it was awesome so in that video and since that video which i did last year i've received so many questions just in regards to an updated kind of review on the leather and just a bunch of questions that I received. So I have them here on my phone. I'm gonna go through them with you guys so that if you guys have any questions about dyeing any kind of bag, it doesn't even have to be a Balenciaga bag. If you're interested in dyeing any kind of leather bag, I hopefully can answer some questions you guys have been thinking about. And if you guys have any more questions, just leave them down below. I'll try to you know get back to you as best as my ability and kind of walk you through the process of what I did. I basically filed somebody's video myself, but I'll kind of walk you through my experience and how I did it myself. So if you're interested, just keep watching. All right, so this bag is the balenciaga first bag it is not the balenciaga city it's the first bag i guess there's just a slight difference it's a little bit more slouchier i think the city is a little bit more structured i believe they're very similar in size and you can google the difference uh let's see it really looks they both really do look very similar they have a zip pocket in the front I believe it used to have a mirror but I did not receive a mirror with this one this one is from I believe 07 which is totally fine with me and it has a black interior so this bag used to be off-white the hardware is a very dark brass so it kind of blends in with the black color I don't know if I would have picked a black bag with very dark hardware maybe maybe not but that's just kind of what happened. So the bag was light with dark hardware, so when I turned it into a dark bag, the hardware kind of disappears. So let, I'm gonna leave this bag here for just some eye candy here, right here, so you guys can see it and admire how cute this bag is. And basically, I should wear it more often. You guys need to just keep telling me that in the comments. All right, oh, do you know how cool this is? My sweater, I just realized, it has freaking like holes here. like what i didn't even think of that or know that all right so the first question that people want to people usually ask is color transfer like if i take it out in the rain does the color or the dye transfer does it bleed does it transfer on my clothes um so the first thing i always want to say is that i i rarely take my nice handbags out in the rain if it is raining i you know hopefully you guys are taking bags or sticking them under your jacket or maybe using using an umbrella so i don't want to say that i've taken this bag out in the rain and let rain basically ruin the bag so no i haven't had any color transfer whether it's raining or not raining the better the bag has held up i believe the dye kind of gets into the leather and stains the leather it does not rub off so no there are no color transfers on this type of leather and this bag I've not seen any 
And let me walk you through my process of how I pretty much dyed this bag first. So I went on to... I'm not really sure how I even figured this out. I think I was, of course, watching lots of handbag videos. And I came across this one girl. I have her video. I'm going to leave it down below. I forgot her name because her video, in my opinion, is very, very helpful to, you know, step by step of what she literally did. I bought, bought all of the things that she used specifically. I believe I just, I, I found it the cheapest on walmart.com believe it or not and i just ordered them and i believe you can only order them i don't think you'd go into walmart and buy them i ordered them i got them in the mail and i was extremely excited because i think you had to buy two different kits to get the level of dyeing that she used um so basically on my kitchen floor i found like i found that my kitchen floor was the best place to actually the best surface to use so I basically cut open a garbage bag and use that, you know, to let to lay everything out so it would be just easy to pick up and clean and throw out in the garbage. So I laid everything out, the bag, all the necessities and tools, and basically went step by step in her video on what she did. I believe there's two different processes of using two different dyes to penetrate into the leather. Hopefully you guys are understanding what I'm saying, but you, you basically clean your bag first. You go over the bag with this one specific dye which is going to make the bag more of like a matte um, it penetrates into the leather it probably is called like the penetrating dye i don't i don't even know and then the second so you're gonna let that dry i remember she used something heavy that she was sticking in her bag which i also did as well so you want to do the first coat you want to make sure your bag is dry before you do your second coat and then your second coat is basically more of a glossy shine so it brings more shine back into the bag and as you can see this bag kind of is has that little shiny glow back to it and it's a a true black it isn't that purple black which the first color was more of like a purple black so you went over the bag again and you got this really great black black color um, the fun part was going over your hardware with some alcohol some rubbing alcohol and really getting into those details because you didn't have to be so worried with the dye the dye wasn't going to dye your hardware but you needed to go back in and making sure that you cleaned up every piece of your hardware the only hard part about that is you'll find that little pieces like around the hardware here um, you know I did take off a little bit of the dye but I mean that's just either what happens or you can go back over it but or you could just be extremely careful I didn't I wasn't that super careful and I think it still came out really really great so that's really the process it really doesn't take that long I took just a day I think she took a day to you know she let her bag uh, dry overnight and then she went in another day and d did the second step I kind of did it all in one day because I just didn't have the time I just decided that I wanted to do it all in one day <laughs> But, you know, it worked out. So there you go. I guess that just gives you proof that you can just wait till the first coat dries and then go back in and do your second coat and then wait till that dries. Now, second question. So hopefully that was a process. Again, you should go watch the video. I'm not saying that every bag is going to be the same, but that was the process of dyeing Balenciaga's and Balenciaga leathers. So I kind of trusted, you know, and I saw her finished product and I thought it was great. All right, number two, was the process long? So the process to me wasn't extremely long. It took me a day. I would say it took a healthy day of just understanding what I was doing, laying out the product, um, letting the first coat dry. So I would just say a day. It could be two days if you really need to break it up in two days. Well, the third question is, will dyeing the bag change the texture of the leather? So that's a good question because sometimes when you do dye anything, it can change the quality of your bag and it changes the leather because now you're messing with it. But for me and Balenciaga leather bags, as you know, if you do have a Balenciaga bag, Balenciaga bags over the years get extremely soft. And that's why I really loved buying a pre-loved bag because I just love the idea of it being extremely slouchy and ex extremely soft. This bag is so soft and so slouchy that I find it um, that the leather did not, nothing, it's exactly the same, if not better. So, so no, the leather has not changed from dyeing the bag. So, number four, do you regret dyeing your bag? Of, no, I actually am... I'm pretty impressed of how useful and how excited I am that I dyed the bag. 
and the fact that I still use it to this day. Now, the only reason why I don't wear it as much as I should is because I've been on a like color, a bag color kick. I just love color at the moment, but having a black bag just never goes out of style. So, I mean, do I regret it? Of course not, because I can always reach for this bag and it just will never go out of style or go out of season, right? It's kind of just a classic. So no, I don't regret dyeing it black. And I kind of knew that going in that if I would, re I would regret maybe dyeing it a different color, but no, I don't regret dyeing it black. I think it's pretty cool. Number five, how much did it cost? I think the kit was about, I think in total, maybe I spent $30, $35. Maybe the, each kit, you know, was, I don't know. I'm going to leave all the links down below. But in my mind, maybe the whole, you know, two kits, maybe I spent $30. Maybe one kit was $9. Maybe another was 20 I don't. I don't remember. But I will leave the cost here or you guys can check out the information in the description. I'll leave all that information below. Hopefully I answered some of the questions you guys have been asking or thinking about. Thanks so much for watching this video and sticking around with me. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.